What's going on? This is Alan Brown, aka Bully the Kid, and I am doing something I absolutely love doing. Going to the store to go and play bases, get my idea on them, and then I'm going to tell, uh, talk to you about what I think. So, if you watch the channel, if you watch this channel, uh, you know my Holy Grail bases are the Sterling, uh, not the Sterling, the Ernie Ball Music Man. I'd love to have a double humbucker, five string, uh, the Rickenbacker 4003 or 4001, and the uh, Gibson Thunderbird or the Epiphone Thunderbird, which I already, I have the Epiphone Thunderbird now. So that's one of them off the list. But today I'm going and testing out one of my Holy Grail bases and kind of doing a cost, uh, kind of like a cost analysis type deal with it. Um, they I called up to Guitar Center and they said they had the uh, Music Man in and I wanted a five string version. So, um, yeah, so that's this what you're about to see now is me testing out the five string version of the Music Man Stingray five and the Sterling by Music Man Stingray five. So one base costs twenty one or twenty two hundred dollars. The other base costs. 329 or 330 something like that so that's what you're about to see and uh i'll come back and i'll give you my thoughts on it after it's over all right bye. So here, here, here's the here's the thing. After playing it, cost analysis and what I would use the base for. Uh, if you make an investment, if you make a two thousand dollar investment, you would hope that you would eventually see that money back, right? So making that investment just because I can't just because dot dot dot. I can't justify buying it, even though it's one of my holy grail bases. I don't now playability. So I played the uh, expensive uh, bass first, the expensive Music Man Stingray Five. I played that one first, right? The sound, freaking A one. Oh man, it sounded so great. Like it sounded so great. Uh, felt good. It was light. It had rolled edges. Like it was nice. Like it was real nice. Like it felt nice. Like my P7 and my P7 feels so. Oh, I love my Sire P7. But the sound, like that sound I was chasing, that really bright, harsh 
slap tone. That was it. And I was like, God, I see why I really want it. I just, I don't, I don't know. Then I played the, uh, th the 329 Sterling by Music Man, uh, Stingray 5. And the, the tone was there. The only thing that it was missing was I think he, it would have the same type of feel if I had the same humbucker that the music, the actual real music man has. I think the Sterling by Music Man uses ceramic pickups or ceramic magnets and the music man uses neodymium magnets, I think. Neodymium's a little bit stronger than ceramic from what I understand. So that could be the output and how it's producing it. Uh, but man, it's, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. So what, what I find really wild is the sound that I was getting out of the real music man four string. And I, that's going to be on a different video. The sound I was getting out of the real music man four string. I get that same sound out of my Squire Jaguar humbucker bass, that exact same sound. So that tells me I don't need to buy that four string. Now, the five string is a totally different beast. For one, I don't feel like I would be able to take that real music man out and gig with it. I'd be afraid that it would either get stolen, kicked over, broken, scuffed up, like, like, ugh. that's that would be the problem. So if I had to go and buy a bass or if I really wanted to buy a Sterling Music Man or a Music Man bass, I would get the cheaper one. And then later on down the road, just upgrade the electronics on it. Like gut the gut the preamp and just put in a new preamp or whatever. A little something extra. That's what I would do. That's if I was in the market for that. As of now, I can't justify it. Like I can't justify paying twenty two hundred dollars for one of my holy grail bases. So that may be like something I do way down the road. Whenever I just have that money just chilling, saved up, like whatever. Uh, so this year I won't be buying that. But while we're talking about new bases, I might be hopping on that um, second generation sire base tip. Because those are looking real good. I don't know. Thinking I might be hopping on that. Whenever they come out with a new color in the M2 series, that could be a definite contender. I'd definitely be willing to rock with them on that M2 tip. Because all they have now is teal and maple. And I already have the teal and maple one, just the first generation. So if they do the second generation, I'm either getting black or I'm getting white. Probably end up getting white. I like the idea of having white strings on a white base. That idea is dope to me. So I'll probably end up doing that. But if you agree with me as far as cost analysis and feel and all that stuff, and just let me know your comments. I really want to, I'm interested to know what y'all think. This is, So for me right now, I'm not buying this music, man. I thought I was going to buy it this year. I might look into a Rickenbacker, but I don't know. I really don't know. I can't see myself buying the music, man, this year. Who knows, man? I might just be like, you know what? It's my birthday. I'm going to treat myself. Who knows? I don't know. I can't. I don't keep up with that type of stuff. So whatever. But I appreciate y'all watching. I know the video was a little bit long. But thank y'all for bearing with me. And I'll check you out in the next video. Y'all be easy. Peace.